Welcome back to Barbecue Boss TV. This is your Barbecue Boss. Man, I miss saying that so badly. <laughs> but um, as you guys know that um, we've kind of um, stopped uh, making the show every uh, every week. Um, just life, you know, school and work, everything kind of got in the way. But today, we're going to make some quesadillas. We got some meat, we got some cheese, we got some bread. So we're just going to put them together real quick. They're um, pretty simple to do. You're gonna want to get some carne asada meat. It's real thin slices of uh, basically it's like flank steak, just thinly sliced, marinated with some spices. Um, you're gonna want to clean your grill. You guys know all about that. I'm not gonna be telling you all this, all this stuff. You guys know about searing. You guys know about melting cheese. You guys know about making tortillas on the grill. You guys know all this stuff. This stuff, simple stuff. You're gonna want to sear the meat both sides real quick it's really um that's, all, that, that's about it and um i just want to talk to you guys a little bit this episode i just want to see how you guys doing i want to see how um all the subscribers out there how's everyone um did you guys uh, miss our show because <laughs> i sure miss you guys um that's about it i mean life is pretty crazy life is a uh, Life uh, has showed me the ropes, as you can say. Um, we had some ups and downs on the last couple of barbecue bosses. We had some mishaps. We had some um, better shows. But um, I really want to go ahead and just put this together for you guys. Um, make it a little bit, um, a little bit more watchable, as you can say. You know, um, a little bit more entertaining. But. Um, Let's say like um, the the beat, the music, um, like who's the guy that's making all these beats? You know, um, I really um, want to show him some respect. Want to show him some love for putting all those beats together and just um, letting me use them. You know, I kind of hijacked them from him um, by hijacking me. Um, kind of stole them. <laughs> um, it's Mr. Blackout. Um, he's one of the best commentators I've seen on YouTube. What he does is he does. Um, Basically, basically games like Call of Duty, Black Ops, he does um, Battlefield, and he does like cinematics, real dope cinematics. If you guys want to check him out, just go type in Mr. Blackout. Um, you'll see his you'll see his um, his channel, and um, he has a lot of followers. He makes real good content, makes good music, real cool guy. And um, I just want to send him a big thank you for even um, just sending this music to us, letting us listen to it. Um, Letting me put in the videos and um, just rock to it a little bit, you know? Sit back and relax. Alright, so getting back to this video. This part is um, it's kind of a little bit important. It's my little own technique. Okay, as you can see, the stakes are kind of um, long. They're about um, 8 inches in length. I'm going to show you how to cut them real good, alright? It's going to be like uh, basically um, like just very tender, very tender. It's going to be like falling off falling off I'm gonna show you that in a little second over here let's not jump too far ahead but as you can see I'm putting the second batch on now the meat over here that I have is about three pounds so with the weight that I'm gonna show you how to cut it right now you're basically gonna be able to feed about 15 20 people with just this meat I kid you not we had like a little party going on and um, a couple of my friends wanted me to do some barbecue so we went ahead and did this and but kid you not it fed about 15 people, easy. Alright, this is the magic. Check it out. We got our um, carne asada cooked. Alright, it's not the well done. I like it medium. So what I'm going to do right now, see, do you see how the meat is kind of like lengthy? Do you see how the fibers are running um, width wise? See that? What we're going to do is just like roll it up like a cigar. Or whatever you guys roll up. And we're just going to cut against the grain. Just like that. You just want to cut against the grain. It's going to be real tender. Okay? You're going to have strips. Long, long strips. Um, you can put them with the strips. I like to put them with the strips. So basically what's going to happen is. When you're biting into the garni. When you're biting into your quesadilla. It's just going to fall apart. Just like that. When you're biting into the quesadilla. And you pull. You know how sometimes like when you pull out. Not like that, not like when you pull out, pull out, but different, different. When 
you're like um, buying a meat. Oh man, now it's getting all screwed up. But you know what I mean, right? When you're eating, when you're eating a sandwich, and you take a bite, and then you like you tear away, and all that meat just um, stays in your mouth. <laughs> That's not gonna happen with this one, right? It's gonna be pretty, um, it's gonna like just, just break off. <laughs> Moving on. So, we're gonna get some um, quesadillas done. Right there, we got the cheese on there. We've toasted one side already. So now we're gonna add the meat. Now this is pretty, um, it's not an important step right here, but hey, check it out. We got the meat all sliced up, as you can see, against the grain, so it's real tender, it's just gonna fall apart. And this is what I like to do, I like to just kind of top it a little bit, put some strips on there, put another strip on there, I'm gonna keep on putting some more strips on there, because I want everyone to have enough meat in their quesadillas, enough cheese, enough meat. You gotta make sure you can't be skimming. So as you can see, we got three ready right there, we're gonna make one more real quick. And then uh, we're gonna put this all together. The cheese that we're using, as you can see, yeah, it comes in a bag and stuff. But like I said, it was a little party, um, it was short notice. As you can see, I'm not even using a tripod to like uh, mount the camera. My friend just hovering around me, just trying to beam it on me and stuff. But hey, kind of working out pretty good. So you wanna just. Um, Fold it over, be careful, it's pretty hot. So just fold it over, smack it down, and then um, you want to put it away from the heat. Um, it's called indirect cooking, quote unquote, but um, it's just basically putting it away from the fire. Alright, let's make one up, huh? So we got some avocados, we got some lemon, um, we got some lettuce over there somewhere. I like avocados, so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, put some avocados in, in mine. I, I'm gonna open it up right now. You're gonna be able to see all that cheese just melted. Look at all that. Woo, man. This was bomb. I'm telling you what, check it out. If you guys haven't done this, go ahead. Put some avocado in there. And um, a little secret with the avocado is I like to pit it and just um, cut it up diagonally. And just it's it's real easy to just take out like that. It's like a nice and almost creamy kind of. It's weird. It's like a nice uh, texture to it. You want to get ripe avocados, real ripe. And put some lemon on that. And um, that's it. You got you got yourself a barbecue boss quesadilla right there. Simple, easy, delicious, flavorful. I don't know. I love them, man. These are like snacks. These are like snacks, snacks. Check it out. Nice, meaty. You got some cheese in there. Look at all that. Beautiful. Take a bite. Relax. Thank you for tuning into Barbecue Boss TV. This is your Barbecue Boss. By the way, that's not ketchup. It's hot sauce. Talk to you guys later.